this is the thing that I can't stand about them. The conservatives most especially is that if they were consistent, you know, like Ron Paul, for example, he seems to me like somebody who is a true right wing ideologue and he seems consistent about things. I don't know about, you know, Ron Paul or Rand, Ron, Ron, Ron. The father. OK, the and father. I, you know, I don't know his whole career, but he seems at least somewhat like, OK, he, uh, he this is how. Well, he, he's a true. Uh, I mean, I would say he's a true libertarian. I mean, he's one of the he's he's one of the people where it's like, you know, I like to hear what he has to say. I mean, he's somebody mm -hmm. who has, you know, and especially since he's one of the earlier people who was talking to people like Ralph Nader. Mm -hmm. And saying, hey, look, we have a lot of disagreements and we do, but we're both very anti-war. Right. We both want to end the war machine. We're both tired of the corporal corporate stranglehold on politics. Let's kind of like see where we kind of meet an agreement and then maybe we can start fleshing out where we don't agree. And I appreciate that. But then, of course, we we have our very, very stark differences when you talk to someone like a Ron Paul oh, yeah. about what they want to do for healthcare oh, and, no, and you I... talk and, and the idea that like, you know, further deregulation yeah. would get us out of this right. is, is just, well, that's I mean, why like, that's they, not going to happen. We need more protections for people. Absolutely. They're fa they're fantasy. It's the whole libertarian thing always irritates me because it's sort of like, Let's discuss. Uh, it's not interesting by the way, because it's, it's not even, it doesn't exist. No, well, it's been it's been co-opted. I, I mean, the whole uh, like like the idea of libertarianism in the contemporary USA sense is not uh, not really when, when you look at like some of the people who identify as socialist libertarians. I don't even know what that, like is. that what is that? It's like they make shit up. Somebody was arguing with me once, like on Twitter or something, saying I'm not a conservative. I'm not a libertarian. I'm a neo I'm a paleo neo concern. I was well, like, that's the thing. I mean, I shut up. Who no, I, I know what you mean. I mean, it's like terms get co-opted <laughs> so paleo, much. Paleo neo libertarian. What does that mean? It means. Well, the, the, well, no, the paleo socialists are just socialists who like to go to museums. I know what that is. <laughs> they like to see the museum. They like to go to the museum of natural history. I like the, that. They're pro, they're pro museum socialists. That's all. <laughs> and, and then the, and then the, uh, and then the, right. the the prehistoric libertarians are just dinosaur en enthusiasts who are also right. Libertarian. right. But in like ten thousand years of recorded human history or whatever, maybe it's a little less than recorded. Yeah, I guess maybe a few thousand. But they uh, or more. No, no. What am I saying? It's about ten thousand. Anyway, there's not been a libertarian society ever. It's all right. made up there's in somebody's not. mind. They, it's like Ayn Rand. They, but they read Ayn Rand, the rambling, and they never grew out of it. Yeah, they never grew out of it. Sociopath, and she was a textbook sociopath. And they say, oh, okay, this is this makes this is how this is how the world should work, right? And it's not, it doesn't work that way. And I wish they would just, you know, go, 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 Galt already, get out, go, Galt. What are you waiting for? Shrug. Well, yeah, I mean, someone told me once, you know, like like getting back to the socialist libertarian thing, I was I was kind of describing because like if I had to describe myself as one thing, like like which I, I don't, you know, I I don't think it's fair to just put one thing, but mm -hmm. I would say the closest glass for me would be market socialist. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like that. And you know, you can read like the book Paracon really lays out like like market socialism and what that's all about. And and basically it's just as simple as you know, I'm all about workers owning the means of production. I'm all about, you know, like a strong social safety net in society. I think it's okay to have a natural, you know, like to kind of just let people start their own restaurants if they yeah, want to, or sure. start like, I'm okay with that. As long as there's like a great sa social safety net around it. I don't think we need to plan an economy for goods and services. Right. I do think we should for housing. So I'm not a straight up market. social. Yes. you know, so, so you see how there's all these, you know, like, like there's all this overlap and there's all this, I mean, right. even like the concept of anarchy, it's like anarchy is a lot like ice cream. You're bound to find a flavor you like because it's just <laughs> so, it's so broad and there's so right. many different types of it. And and it, it's just so, you know, cause someone told me when I was like, well, I, I think I'm market socialist as close as they're like, well, technically you're an anarchist because that's a type of anarchy. I don't even know if that's true really? or not. It might, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. 
I don't know if anarchy. What is? I don't even know what. That's also a very immature thing. It's like anarchy. What are you gonna do? Well, anarchy, you... anarchy in the most the blunt sense. What you're told it is is very immature and anarchy. Yeah. But again, it's it's like such a broad. There's so many different types of it. There's so many different schools of thought around it. So many different like like writers and thinkers that it's like you know what you're taught, where it's just like no rule no law like like that right. sort of like, like the caricature anarchy that is a type yeah. of anarchy yes but that's sort of like the character that you're taught where that's everything and like no there's a lot more to it than so right. so it's like yeah these terms get co-opted co-opted there's overlap there so you know it's like those sovereign you know, citizen idiot too they annoy me too because they're all they're driving I don't even know what that means I, I don't somebody even know who says about. I'm a sovereign citizen. They they don't abide. They're their own country onto themselves. Sovereign citizens. They exist. I've never even heard this. Well, this is what I mean. They make shit up. They they uh, somebody. You if you go on like let me see. Sovereign citizen. I am a sovereign Neolithic paleontologist. Yeah, right. Socialist, <laughs> Paleontology. <laughs> anarchy abiding. I'm an anarchist sovereign like, citizen. What? I don't know. Yeah, I know. I just, well, they, I just I, try to be a good guy. You know? I saw some I saw some um, YouTube video of a guy who got pulled over by a cop and he was like, oh, I don't be believe in your laws. I'm a sovereign citizen. And he didn't have a registration. He didn't have he's I don't need a re registration. I'm a sovereign citizen. So he thinks he's his own little it's it's kind of mental illness, I suppose, because he didn't th believe in registrate in registering his car because that would be against sovereign citizen. But he was okay driving our socialist roads and you know, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Go build your own road then and get out. Like go buy, go find your own country. I mean, really. So this is the he thing. He will. About it's going to be Sovereignsville. <laughs> right, Sovereign it's be Sovereignsville. Get your news on with Rhonda. You want to know what's going on? Get your news on with Ron, don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your